Hello, Scorpio viewers. Sorry I've been away. I've just been working at my other job a lot lately, but I'm back now. And as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. So that email is right below in the description box below this video. Well, let's see what's going on with you guys. We've got love, offer, and commitment. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Apology and regret. Passion and romance. Codependency and addiction. Hmm. Open, honest communication, message, loyalty, stability, vows. Hmm. Someone cheated is what I'm getting. X the past, submissive, weak-willed. Pause, reflection, rest, stagnation, complacency, fear of commitment. Okay, someone, so I'm sorry, I'm looking at these cards. Someone cheated. Let me confirm my pendulum. Yeah, somebody cheated. And, you know, don't take this if this doesn't resonate. Like, I feel like this would be something that you already knew. This wouldn't, it's not like one of those situations where, you know, you've been cheated by on by all your exes and you you found an amazing person that treats, treats you like a king or treats you like a queen and you're having a hard time, you know, accepting it, this kind of love and you're afraid of getting cheated on again. No, this isn't that situation. This is a situation where, like, there's rumors about your person cheating or... You just, you usually trust people really easily and for some reason you're getting a bad feeling about this person or, you know, they, they don't call you when they say they're going to call you or it's like they're just, they're MIA all day. Um, they go out of town. Like there's some, like there's something sketchy going on, like some, like evidence basically, or at least a very, very strong gut feeling. This isn't, you know, I just want to put that out there because I don't want people that are in good relationships, seeing this and just assuming the worst. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't take this if it's not your story. I just want to put that out there that I feel like this would be something that you already know. Like, you either found out or you already have a really strong hunch. Like, you're, you know, people are talking or this this person's behavior is just really suspicious. Like I said, they just randomly turn their phone off and you can't get a hold of them for like a day or even days on end. Or they're just not where they say they're going to be. Just something would be really fishy here. It, it wouldn't, you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, what I'm getting is that something happened on someone's vacation. Or out of town. It doesn't, there's a few different stories here. And this, I feel like for a lot of you, this is probably current energy. But this could also be someone from your past that cheated on you and maybe you don't know that they cheated this could even be someone that you know maybe you guys have broken up been broken up for a while but they're wanting to make amends with people in their life now so they're wanting to come clean about what they did to you that maybe you didn't even know about it but the vibe i get here is that something happened like on vacation or out of town um could be something with the motorcycle for some but I feel like someone got caught up in the moment. You know, we have codependency, addiction, and they want to apologize for that. They want to apologize for something that happened in the moment. I feel like for most, it's cheating. For others, I feel like this could be something harsh that they said to you that they didn't really mean. I'm just getting the energy of someone getting caught up in the moment, caught up in the passion. So I'm I'm feeling like for most of you, it's probably cheating. Someone just kind of let themselves go. Um, it could be like a drunken one night stand type of thing. Maybe they were on a business trip, something of that nature. But for others, I feel like maybe 
feel like maybe you guys were maybe you guys were on vacation or you guys were some out somewhere out in public and you guys got in a bad argument like they just they just lost themselves in the heat of the moment and that's not an excuse i'm just channeling what they're feeling and what they're wanting to say i'm just channeling the energy coming through is that they feel like like they lost themselves in this passion, be it an argument or be it cheating, whatever it was, there was something that happened that was just like a heat of the moment thing. They didn't plan it. It was unpredicted. And they want to communicate with you. They want to send you an open, honest communication. Like I said, this could be someone that you're currently dating that just did this. This could also be someone from your past. So don't sabotage a good relationship. Okay, please, 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 please. Don't assume someone's cheating unless you know for sure. Okay. Um, you know, this, this should resonate. If this is your story, this should be resonating a lot. This is something that you already probably know, like I said, but, um, yeah, it's like heat of the moment energy and they want to, it's interesting. It's like, they're wanting to apologize, but at, at the same time, it's like, they're not fully taking responsibility because I feel like they're, they're not going to come to you and say, hey, like, I screwed up. I cheated. I can't believe I did that. I need to work on this. Can you ever forgive me? They're going to come to you and they're going to apologize and they're going to say, you know, I screwed up. I cheated on you. I. They're going to make excuses, though. Like, oh, I, I was drunk. I was high. I, you know, she was really attractive. He was really attractive. I... Um, I was having a bad day. I lost myself in the heat of the moment. You know, it's, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, there's, it's an apology, but they're also going to try to excuse it. They're going to try to give you some kind of reason as to why that happened. And that's what makes it not trustworthy to me. But, but yeah, I do feel like you're going to get a message, a very open, vulnerable message about what happened. And this could be unexpected. Like I said, this could be someone you haven't talked to for a while that's just wanting to make amends with people that might be like, you know what, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry for how things went down between us. I'm sorry for, you know, the arguments we got into. I'm sorry for what I did to you. I'm sorry for cheating on you. It's like they want to be loyal to you. The desire is there. But they feel trapped. It feels like this person needs counseling almost. I don't know if you're going to want to give this another chance, though. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to give a cheater another chance, even if they even if they apologized. I can't see myself wanting to, but it's up to you. You know what I mean? There's no judgment here. It's totally up to you. I mean, I do feel like this person does want to be loyal to you, though. They, the desire is there. It feels like they have these deep-rooted fears of commitment, though. I feel like this is probably something that happened, like, after they made you some kind of love offer or commitment. Like you guys were talking about getting married or you were talking about um, like moving in together or you said I love you guys said I love you for the first time. And then like they got distant and everything just went to shit after that. And you're like, what the hell? Like I thought we were planning a future together. And I feel like this person just has commitment issues. And so this person just kind of freaked out. They um, they just ran. They sabotaged. They freaked out. You know, this person has a very deep root. I'm getting, like, anxiety energy from this person. Like, this person has a major fear of commitment. So, honestly, I don't know if you're going to want to deal with this. If you do deal with it, let me say, this person needs counseling. Like, this isn't something that they can't just apologize to you and be like, you know what, I want to be loyal to you, and that's that. Because you guys will go through the honeymoon phase. And, yeah, for two, three months, however long, you guys will be good. They'll be loyal to you. But then when things get serious again... They're, they're going to freak out. They're going to run. This person could have like an undiagnosed mental illness or something that's causing it as well. But it just feels like, you know, if you accept the apology, not that you shouldn't accept it at all, but I feel like you, they need to do more than that. They need to do more than just apologize because if you let this person back in, it's just like, yeah, you guys will go through the honeymoon phase. It'll be great. And they'll be working on themselves. But if they're not getting counseling, if they're not getting help for this deep-rooted underlying issue, whatever is causing the fear of commitment, whatever causes them to freak out and run, then it's going to happen again and again and again. And you don't want to go through that. You don't want to rebuild that trust and open your heart to this person again. And then, you know, you get back to that point where you guys are talking about marriage or family or, you know, saying I love you or moving in or whatever it is. And all of a sudden they have this anxiety and fear out of nowhere rush in and they sabotage it again. You know, you don't want to go through that. 
I feel like this person just like, it's like they paused and um, they felt, so, so we have pause, reflection, rest, and then we have stagnation and complacency and we have submissive and weak willed. I don't know if it makes sense, but it's almost like they have a fear of death is what I'm hearing. Like they have a fear of like, cause it almost feels like they paused and they were afraid of being stagnant or complacent. Like they were afraid of like, like what if, what if things get like, what if it, what if the honeymoon phase between you doesn't last? What if, you know, you think you're in love, but then you decide you're not or vice versa. Like what if, um, it becomes boring or stagnant? What if, like, like he just, this person just like panicked and they just submitted to their fears, fears of getting hurt, fears of being bored, fears of being rejected, whatever it might be. There's multiple fears here. And it's like the desire to be loyal is there, but again, without mental help, they're not going to be able to do it. Divine intervention, synchronicity, reconciliation, betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like the divine is pissed at them too because they gave them this chance with you and they betrayed you. Yeah, this hidden truth is coming out. The divine is not happy that they did this. I feel like some of you are going to want to end this cycle though when you have this closure and this truth come out. You know, you're going to have this new perspective and true, like new love is going to come into you, it's going to come in for you. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. Yeah, third party, you might end up finding, yeah, you might end up choosing someone else. You might end up saying, like, maybe you needed this closure, and you might end up saying, like, screw this, I don't, you know, I want something more. But again, there's, there's a couple different stories here, so it's up to you, but that's just what I'm getting as always, if you want me to go more in depth, I can look into this old person. I can look into anyone new that's coming into your life. I can give you details on them. Whatever you want to know, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. And that email is right below in the description box below this video. So thank you for watching. And please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, you know, please share too because maybe there's someone on your social media that needs to hear this message. So thank you guys for watching.